activities and endeavors intended for this year may become fruitful and worth satisfying. Our mass presider is Reverend Father Pablito Tagora SVD, Rector and Dean of Studies of Divine Word Mission Seminary. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Today we take the votive mass in honor of the Holy Spirit as we start a new school year. We also invite the different houses of formations. 18 affiliated houses to join us online in this Holy Mass. May the Holy Spirit guide us, strengthen us, inspire us in our studies that it may be fruitful and lead us to the realization of our commitment and vocation. To prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our failures and ask the Lord for mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that in the same Spirit we may be truly wise and ever rejoice in His consolation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Judges. The children of Israel offended the Lord by serving the Baals, abandoning the Lord, the God of their fathers, 
who led them out of the land of Egypt. They followed the other gods of the various nations around them, and they worship of these gods provoked the Lord. Because they had thus abandoned him and served Baal and the Ashtaroth, the anger of the Lord fluttered up against Israel. And he delivered them over to plunderers who despoiled them. He allowed them to fall into the power of their enemies round about, whom they were no longer able to withstand. Whatever they undertook, the Lord turned into disaster for them. As in his warning he had sworn he would do, till they were in great distress. Even when the Lord raised up judges to deliver them from the power of their despoilers, they did not listen to their judges, but abandoned themselves to worship of other gods. They were quick to stray from the way of their fathers had taken, and did not follow their example of obedience to the commandments of the Lord. Whenever the Lord raised up judges for them, He would be with the judge and save them from the power of their enemies. As long as the judge lived, it was thus the Lord took pity on their distressful cries of affliction under their oppressors. But when the judge died, they would relapse and do worse than their ancestors following other gods in service and worship, relinquishing none of their evil practices or stubborn conduct. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor with your people. They did not examine the peoples as the Lord had commanded them but mingled with the nations and learned their works. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They serve their idols, which become a snare for them. They sacrifice their sons and daughters to demons. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They become defiled by their works and wanton in their crimes, and the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Many times did he rescue them, but they embittered him with their counsels. Yet he had regard for their affliction when he heard their cry. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord a young man approached jesus and said teacher what good must i do to gain eternal life he answered him why do you ask me about the good? There is only one who is good. If you wish to enter into life, keep the commandments. He asked him, Which one? And Jesus replied, You shall not kill, 
you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The young man said to him, All of this I have observed. What do I, I still lack? Jesus said to him, If you wish to be perfect, go sell what you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. When the young man heard this statement, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Simon Sinek, a very popular book author and motivational speaker, shared an interesting experience. He and his friend joined a five-mile marathon in New York. And at the end of the marathon, at the finishing line, the organizers put up stands or tables wherein they set bagels, donuts, coffee, and soft drinks for free. And so Simon Sinek told his friend, let us go and grab some donuts and bagels and a cup of coffee. But his friend, looking at the long line, said, no, the line is too long. I'll better go home. The line is too long. I prefer to go home. Simon Sinek drew a very insightful reflection in that simple experience when he said, some know what they want and are willing to sacrifice to get them. But others know what they want, but they focus on what prevents them from getting what they want. My dear seminarians, as you have heard in the gospel today, a young man approached Jesus and he wanted to be perfect, to gain eternal life. And so Jesus outlined the requirements of how to be perfect. And much more, Jesus said, if you want to be perfect, sell your possessions and come follow me. The gospel today tells us that the young man went away sad because he did not want to part with his many possessions. Here is a classic example of someone who knew what he wanted and yet was not willing to pay the price to make his dream come true. My dear students, seminarians, you are no different from the young man in the gospel today. Jesus is inviting you. You are in the right direction. Jesus is asking you, are you willing to pay the price? Secondly, if you want to succeed, if you want to achieve what you have set for yourselves, becoming a priest, or at least contemplating on becoming a priest, you need to have constancy and regularity. The toast of the town right now is Heidelin Diaz. because she garnered the gold in weightlifting in her division. But the dream 
of Haidilindia started 16 years ago. Regularly, constantly, every day, she went to the gym to practice. Every day, she maintained her regimen to the gym, go home, rest. The following morning, she would go again to the gym. She was clearly focused on what she wanted. So she maintained a regular, constant schedule. You know, a single day in the gym, isolated from the other days, would be insignificant. It meant nothing. It is in nucleus. But if you put them together, the accumulated days, years of going to the gym regularly and constantly, then that's the totality of that made it possible for Heidi Lin to garner, capture the gold medal in the Olympics. In the same way, in the same manner, if you want to achieve something, be it priesthood, be it a degree in philosophy, you need to maintain a regular, constant regimen, a good habit, maybe in your studies. It is long and arduous. Sometimes you will be discouraged, but then you should not lose your sight of your vision or your goal like Heidelin. It was very clear in her mind that she wanted a gold medal and so she was ready and willing to put in the necessary work. As they say, a peso a day will build a house someday. And Jesus was even more empathic when he said, anyone who wants to follow me, anyone who starts plowing and keeps looking back is not worthy of me. In other words, just like the young man in the gospel today, Jesus would have wanted him to focus on Jesus, not on the obstacles, not on those that would prevent him in realizing his dream. For sure, as you continue your studies here in the seminary, there will be discouragements. You will have sometimes low grades, difficult professors or teachers, difficulties with your community members, fellow classmates, financial difficulties, emotional problems, and so on. But do not focus on these. Do not encourage your fears and your doubts. Because if God, Jesus, called you, you are now here, I'm sure He will also give you the corresponding grace to surmount all difficulties. I always like that episode in the Old Testament. As you have heard in the first reading today, God was always taking care of the Israelites as they were traveling from Egypt to the Promised Land. You know, when the Israelites were not so far from the Promised Land, Moses organized a reconnaissance team of 12 members coming from the 12 tribes of Israel. They were given the task to go and spy do some recognizance activities in the Promised Land. And so, these 12 men 
went secret, secretly as spies into the promised land. It was true, the promised land was flowing with milk and honey. It was like paradise, fertile land. And yet, when they came back, they reported to the Israelites, we would be no match to the people of the promised land, the Hittites, the Jebusites, the Amorites, and the Amalekites. They are hardened warlords trained in the art of war. It would be no match for them. And they are giants. We are like grasshoppers. By the flick of their fingers, they would dismiss us. And so there was fear and discouragement among the Israelites. And they even blamed Moses. Why did you bring us to this howling desert? It would have been better for us to be in Egypt. And yet, two of the men who belong to this recognizance team, Joshua and Caleb said, No, we shall move forward. We shall conquer and we shall occupy the promised land because the Lord is on our side. The Lord is on our side. Don't encourage your fears, your doubts, but always remember that if God called you, He will give you the corresponding strength and grace and the guidance of the Holy Spirit to fulfill this noble task, this noble dream that you have started. Lastly, in order to survive seminary life, you need to have great patience Tone down your idealism. People in the seminary are not saints, not even angels. They are fellow human beings with all their faults, weaknesses, warts, and all. You have to learn to live with people who are imperfect. Sometimes they rub you the wrong way. Even Jesus had to put up with his apostles who obviously had rough edges when they joined him. They had their own shortcomings, even Peter, many times over. But Jesus always gave him a second chance. In fact, Jesus was accused of being a drunkard or a glothon because he dined with tax collectors and sinners who from the point of view of the scribes and the Pharisees do not deserve God's love. In fact, fraternizing with them would render them unclean and unworthy to offer sacrifices and prayers in the synagogues or much more in the temple. But you know what Jesus said, people who are well do not need a doctor but sick people do. I have come not to call the self-righteous, but sinners. What is the point of Jesus? That all of us are imperfect, and so, first and foremost, we should be patient with ourselves. Sometimes, seemingly, we are not making progress. Rome was not built in a day, in a single day. You have to do it continuously, regularly, with patience. Until all your efforts, your sacrifices will finally bear fruits. And so as we continue with this Holy Mass, let us pray for the guidance of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit tells us, and leads us where we ought to be. We are no different from the young man in the gospel. Jesus asks you today, are you willing to pay the price? Are you willing to pay the price to make your dream come true?
Please rise. Jesus Christ challenges us to exchange the material riches of this world for his eternal wisdom. Our prayers as his people can help us enter his kingdom as we respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Alang sa atong simbahan, Mamamahi mo kining ligon diha sa pagtuo sa katawhan aron ang mga nahilayo sa Dios mahibalik diha kaniya ug mamamahi mo panikingnan diha sa misyon ni Kristo magampo kita sa Ginoo Lord hear our prayer Agpaay ka digti amin a lideres ken dadaulo iti gobyerno sibil Sapay kung matadida pa adipen ititoray, kinaagom, kinabaknang, ken kinadarit. Ang mga iwan-uwan itipagsyatan tikaduan. Isuda kung mga kedi tiagbalin nga instrumento, tipanakasayang kat iti ostisya, panangipatig iti dignidad iti tao, ken panakaibya kadigiti sorsoro, ang maadal kadigiti na santuan ang ebanghelyo. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Para sa mga magulang at mga guro, naway ang mga magulang at mga guro ay patuloy na pumatnubay sa mga nakababata sa kabila ng mga pagsubok tungo sa ikauunlad at pagkahubog ng kanilang mga pagkatao. Manalangin tayo. Lord, hear our prayer. We bring the administrators, professors, teachers and support staff of our school before you, Lord. In their vocation as educators, they continue the teaching ministry of Christ. May they be empowered by your spirit to see the needs of their students and to inspire those under their care. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. Nga naan kristyano, nga katilingban, nga mga may adaon hin katigayunan, nga talento, may baro paghatag hin bulig, han ira mga bahandi, hanton mga kablas. Magampo kita han ginoo. Lord, hear our prayer. Ikararagan tako amin na medical experts, na itultuloy na kuma ay mga develop, yung mga discovery, sin bakuna, ay mausar tap na sumardang ng pandemya ay sinandilit ako kasi sinan amin ay lubong. Umararag to. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Aton man iyakot sa atong pangamuyo, do atong mga igmanghod nga nagtiliwan, gabi nagid bangod sa arang tiyempo. Mga muyo kita. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, grant us courage, joy, trust, and integrity. Make us wise with the wisdom of Jesus, who lives and reigns with you now and forever. Amen.
Pray that these my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good in the good of all his holy church. Sanctify, we pray, O Lord, the offerings made here, and cleanse our hearts by the light of the Holy Spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to our Lord, the way God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, ascending above all the heavens and sitting at your right hand, he poured out the promise of Holy Spirit, on your adopted children. Therefore now and for ages and ending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts crying out as we acclaim. Santo, 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 Dios mapapangyari, Lord, and all you have great rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread, he gave you thanks, said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, said the blessing. He gave the chalice to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with His Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious uh, saints, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and Onesto our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom, that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen. Jesus told us to call God, Abba, Father, and so we have the courage to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait in joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer it a sign of peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my, my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of his spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
please rise. Let us pray. May the outpouring of the Holy Spirit cleanse our hearts, O Lord, and make them fruitful by the inner sprinkling of His dew through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for success in his study. O Mary, Mother, Mother of fair love, of fear of, fear of God, God, of knowledge, and of, and of holy hope, by whose loving, loving care, care and intercession, intercession many, many otherwise poor in intellect, intellect have wonderfully, wonderfully advanced, advanced in knowledge and holiness. And holiness. I choose you as the guide and patroness of my studies. My studies. I humbly implore to the deep tenderness of your motherly love, and especially to the eternal wisdom ordained to take from you our flesh and who gifted you beyond all the saints with the heavenly light. Obtain for me the grace of the Holy Spirit that I may be able to grasp with strong intellect, retain in memory, proclaim by word and deed, and teach others all things which bring honor to your Son, which for me and for them are salutary for eternal life. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Triune God live in our hearts. Saints Arnold and Joseph, Saint Thomas Aquinas, Mary Seat of Wisdom, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit.